Hey, it's Max from EditN, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up this EditN workflow template that lets you run an AI agent in EditN based on a Hey Siri voice command. So at the end of this video, you're gonna be able to chat with an AI agent, like so. Hey Siri, ask agent. What's the text? Tell me a joke. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Nice one, Siri. This template also shows you how you can start to give context and statefulness to your AI agent so it does better at real-world tasks. To set this template up, starting from the template page, you're going to want to click this Use Workflow button. And from here, if you've already used the template library before, you're going to get this Import button. Otherwise, you're going to have to copy this and paste into your NN account. So I'll click the Import button going to open up my NN account and it's going to open up the setup page. You're not going to see this if you copy paste the workflows JSON, but here it's basically asking for credentials that I need in the workflow. I'll add one of my open API accounts. If you don't have one yet, you could create a new credential from here and you're just going to have to pop in your open AI API key here. If you don't know how to do that, give it a quick Google. And if you don't have an open AI API key, this template will work with different models. So just go ahead and click skip. For now, I'll pick one of my existing ones and hit continue. This opens up the workflow in here. Now again, for those folks that would like to switch to a different model, zoom in on the workflow here specifically, and you're gonna to want to break the connection between the AI agent and the chat model itself. Click this plus here. This will show you all the possible models you could connect. Grok is a good one. They have a free tier. You can sign up with a free account and access some of the open source models like Llama. So that's a good option if you don't wanna whip out a credit card. In this case, I'll connect my OpenAI chat model. And the one recommendation I do have is try to use a faster model. In this case, I'm using 4.0 Mini because this is a voice use case, so every second matters. Once I've done that, I will want to save my workflow. Once you've saved the workflow, we need to set up the Apple shortcut that's going to run this NNN workflow. So in the setup steps sticky note here, there's a link to download the Apple shortcut. So I'll click that. It's now downloaded it to my computer. I'll show you the steps for setting this up on Mac OS. If you want to get the shortcut running on your iOS device, like an iPad or an iPhone, you'll just have to send that to your iPhone. So you can send it via email or AirDrop and just add that to your shortcuts app. It's installed by default on most iOS devices. If not, just re-download it from the App Store. What I'll do is I'll click the shortcut. This is going to open it in the shortcuts app, which should be pre-installed uh, on any Mac OS device. And I'll click add shortcut. I can double click on it and there's gonna be one thing that we need to change. So right now it's set up to be getting the contents of my NNN workflow, so calling my NNN workflow. You're gonna to need to change this URL to the URL of your webhook trigger. If I open this up, it's probably gonna be some long alphanumeric. If you wanna change it to something short, you can change the path here, and you're gonna to wanna to copy the production URL. So make sure it's switch from test URL to production URL, copy that, and then just paste that in here. That should be everything that you need to do then you can close that shortcut. So now that the shortcut is connected to my NNN workflow, you can save the workflow and activate it. Now that it's set up, you can test it. Hey Siri, ask agent. What's the text? Tell me a joke. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Nice one, Siri. This template is designed as a starting point so you can customize it. In the template, I'm showing you how to get data from Siri, send it back, and run it through an AI agent. From here, what you do in the middle is really where the magic can happen. So some inspiration ideas is you could add some app steps, for example, pulling some data from Notion. If you do that, then in your AI agent system message or in the text from the user, you could use NNN expressions and reference that data from those steps. So from here, it's really what happens before your AI agent or inside your AI agent that could customize this to many different sorts of use cases. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you create a cool version of this workflow, consider sharing it with the community. You can upload it and become an NNN template creator yourself or DM it to me and we can talk about it on my next vlog update. It's Max to catch on Twitter and LinkedIn. Happy flow grounding.